have a download for the Raphael Collective. You have been realizing your healing abilities in more ways than one. I feel like, um, so this reading, I'm talking to the Divine Feminine of the Raphael Collective. Okay, so if you're a masculine here, that means we're going to get into a little more depth for you to have a moment of understanding what's going on with your feminine. But this is a reading that's centered and focused on me talking definitely with the feminine of the Raphael Collective. I don't feel like it's like you need encouragement. You're, you got it. Like, you know you're encouraged. It's like, is it time? Are you healed? Are you balanced to be in contact, to be in communication with your divine? I want to start doing that um, in the beginning of every collective uh, YouTube video, like identifying who I'm talking to. I will make a video, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will make a video um, explaining to you guys the difference between the collective specifically. It's just going to take really long. It's going to be like over an hour long video. So, worth it, 1000%. Um, but that's coming, so. But in the beginning, I'll always do that from here on out. Alright, give me one second while I do this down, okay? Get the Ace of Ken we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, which is... Uh, a lack mindset about money in the past. This is a past future spread. Past present future. Oh, three, three. Okay. Uh, past and future as of right now energy. Okay, so Ace of Coins in reverse. Lack mindset with money. Page of Cups in reverse. Not having offers of loyalty. And the moon, and the moon up hand, but also being channeled in reverse. So breaking illusion of self illusion and also needing to bring forth secrets and build things okay in the past you and your masculine the, the issues of the past are no longer here you're not the same person when you were with them and they're not the same person when they were with you this connection's been in the years of making rebuilding yourself since this connection most of you here have been broken up for a while like uh, at least I feel like at least two to three years. Two to three years, I keep saying two, three. I think what resonates always, but that's for the majority of you here, okay? Um, we're gonna show you a side by side of what difference has made, okay? In the past, both of you had a, a lack of mindset about money. You, you were very much for what's happening this night versus what's happening for my future. Now, both of you have a totally different understanding of money. Ace of Swords, New Beginnings, New Inspirations, you flip this, okay? Every time you didn't know how to handle money, every time was a learning lesson, there's no more harping in your mindset. You're like skipping harping. You're really understanding, just go forward, okay? In the past, there was something that, it was. there was an offer of loyalty you feel like you didn't accept, or that you weren't being completely honest to the masculine, and you're still scared that you won't be able to provide some form of security. You're telling you that you need to have a check mark of before you make forward movement with this masculine. Understand uh, when you get the signs to go, you get the signs to go, meaning taking that leap of faith. Nothing will ever be perfect. There's always going to be something that makes you acknowledge the human experience, makes you feel fear, makes you feel self-doubt, etc. But it's not these longing days and hours of things anymore. It's those moments and snapping yourself out of it. It's reminding you what it is to be human by experiencing these emotions and feelings in life. Okay. So currently, don't allow yourself to feel that... If you don't have a certain money, a money symbol in your bank account, if you don't have a place of your own, yada yada, don't make these things the reasons you're not reaching out to somebody. There's so much more to life than that, and honestly, you two can combine your forces and have a very good living together. Yes, we're switching that. Okay, and then uh, so before there was something you wanted to tell your masculine, and you were scared to. Okay, some of you, I feel like, for some of you, take what resonates, okay, but for some of you, there was some unloyalty on the feminine side. It happens. No, I'm not saying it's okay to cheat. 
I'm not saying it's okay to be unfaithful, but life's not black and white, and this isn't who you are anymore. It's not true when people say once a cheater, always a cheater. It's fucking not. Life happens. It's moving forward. Break the illusion. Break the self-illusion. Because the thing is, I'm pretty sure the masculine already knows, and they've like more than, more than, like moved on from it. They don't see things the same as all at all anymore. It's more just the ability for you to be honest with them. That's all it is. And the six of wands, achievement, completion. That's what you have right now together. Okay, you're connected. You're doing the work. They're doing the work. Spirit wants you to know to trust this masculine feminine. So let's get the oracle cards out for this. I think we got some zodiac signs. And we got some alchemy work as well. Do we have any zodiacs? Yes, we do. All right, we got Taurus. So your masculine could have Taurus placement. I mean, it could be either. It's very bullheaded energy nonetheless, meaning like, like charging going forward. 11th house friends. So you maybe you've been, maybe the feminine's been speaking to some friends or is thinking about speaking to some friends on advice, how to go forth with this person. And I sense the friends are saying to go for it. Abundance outwards. So uh, the masculine, the masculine sex, both, that makes sense. Both people are sending out abundance to the world. The masculine is, I sense has made forward movement, has made a thunder effect, has hit the lightning. Okay, the lightning's hit and the, the masculine is about to hear the thunder because the feminine is reaching out to the masculine. Listen, all you have to do, this is not you taking on the role of the masculine. What this is, is you have, a, you have a balanced masculine who does not force themselves into people's lives whatsoever. You must pass the ball back into the masculine's court so they can come forth. Give them verification you want them in their life. Give, give your masculine verification you want them in your life and they will be all about it. Getting to know each other organically. 21 is a real, real big, big four movement. So if you're a divine feminine here, when you see the number 21, spirit's saying it's a download. It's a moment of safety. It's a moment of inner balance and to reach out. When you see the number 21 and you know for a definitive fact within you, it is time. Then we have smell, pop it, and full moon. Very interesting. There had been a sense of a mimic almost in your life. There was somebody in the feminine's life that was mimicking. There was a, yeah, there was somebody in the mas the masculine's and feminine's life, both. Smell. The, whoa, the masculine had like a love spell put on them. The masculine had a love spell put on, on them. And then the feminine was giving all, the, 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 there was a, the feminine had a third party dynamic. They were thinking basically could have been like the energy intensity of like a, a divine or etc. And it wasn't, it was toxic. And they, they had to, uh, they got that, they got that puppet. They got that puppet out of their life. They realized that it was a person that was showing the world their one thing and actually inwards was everything else. Not a puppet to their emotions anymore. So um, if both of you, whoever it was, for both of you were entrapped by a person, one person, the masculine, was entrapped by a love spell. And then the feminine was entrapped by narcissism, um, blaming the victim. Uh, like, I'm going to say this two things. Uh, trying to make the victim feel like they were using victim mentality. You're not a victim, but there's a sense of understanding. Like there's been a time you were, and you're a survivor now. You're a survivor. You're not a victim. And there's nothing wrong with you. You're right. You are allowed to have an opinion. You're right. You are supposed to be heard and seen. And you're not crazy. Your masculine freed themselves from whatever love spell this was. 
And then with the full moon, again, that's like an, another moon card. So bringing in the secrets unveiled. And where it's the, the feminine returning favor, shining a light. You do have, there's too much, there's too much energy of communication for this to not be like very soon. Like you're having, you guys are having a talk. Starting a whole new flame together. In the witch's heart, yeah. Yeah, your hearts are for each other. There's been like, there's literally been studies and stuff down, that being done now that shows that we think consciousness actually stems from the heart, not the brain. You're seeing with your all seeing eye. And um, one of you, if not both, are definitely spiritual practitioners. Okay, so now, what animal? We got a lot to. What animals? This is going to help you identify if you're a masculine or a feminine, okay? Okay, so the masculine is sending, the masculine's higher self is going to be sending the feminine three signs, three animals, which identifies that they're the feminine and the dynamic, and that the masculine is thinking about the feminine. Bears, roosters, and horses. So when you see a bear, a rooster, or a horse in any faction, in any way, this is the masculine saying, hey, I'm here. The masculine will receive ladybugs and giraffes from the feminine higher self saying, hey, I'm here. This is good. This is high vibrational. Um, you guys, Raphael Collective, forward movement, complete communication, and, be, and making memories this summer. Hell yeah. Let's get it. If you're still here, there's something about healing abilities. You want to know if you're a healer, a light worker. No need to worry outwards. You have no need to worry because you are a light worker. You're lucky. You're more than lucky. Lucky, luck is really just fate. It's understand it. You have no need to worry. You're on the right path. You're a light worker. A lot of life is being born around you. Understand what you have registered as luck is just because you're destined for a lot here. You're a light worker. I know I keep saying that, but you're gonna continue now to let yourself know that you're not crazy. Light workers is imperative for you to get more information to learn more about yourself and to dive into divination practices. Um, you're always gonna feel this internal chaos. It's not gonna, let me rephrase that, okay. If you never harness your abilities, practice, learn how to control them, you will feel internal chaos. I have unconditional faith. You're going to continue this. Some of you here already know your practitioners and this is just your extra little cookie on the cake or whatever. Okay, but for the ones of you here who haven't started yet, this is your go ahead, this is your sign. Prosperity is always flowing through you and being attracted to you. You're doing the work and continue that self-love. Continue getting to know about yourself. Hell yeah. Let's get it. 